We stand to say thank you to all the donors. Today, we stand to say Cameron University is moving forward, and with our help, and with the dedication of people like you here, every one of you, Cameron University will continue to grow and expand. Look at it. It's becoming one of the great regional universities, not just in Oklahoma, but in this part of the United States. We have reason for great pride. Let's stand and cheer Ca Cameron. Come on. Let's be Cameron crazies. You can see we have a great supporter okay. of Cameron University on the board. We are indeed so blessed. Southwest Oklahoma is also very fortunate to have a member on the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education who is a Cameron graduate, and not just a Cameron graduate, but also a recipient of Cameron University's Distinguished Service Award. I ask you to join me in recognizing State Regent Bill Burgess, who works on behalf of all of our colleges and universities, but particularly Cameron University. Bill, thank you. As you have heard me say many times, students are the heart of our commitment at Cameron University. And while the MAC belongs to each one of us, it will have the most profound impact on campus student life. Speaking on behalf of our students today is Amanda Finch. Amanda is from Lawton. In just a matter of weeks, I'll have the privilege of presenting her her diploma. She will be graduating with the bachelor's degree in speech communication. And Amanda has certainly left her mark at Cameron University. She is a PLUS scholar. She has been named as one of the top 20 students at Cameron University and who's who on campus. She also is the current co-chairman of the Programming Activities Council. And this year, Amanda not only distinguished herself, she really distinguished Cameron University. Out of an eight-state area composed of over 65 universities, Amanda was named the top student leader. Please welcome Amanda Finch. During my time here as a student, I have been heavily involved in student activities and I know exactly how much this building means to us. Now that student activities has moved into this building, along with the bookstore, the food court, and much, much more, it will become the center of student life, and for that, I sincerely thank each and every one of you who made this possible. At Cameron, students and administration understand how important student activities are to the collegiate experience. When I began working in student activities two years ago as the program activities co-chair, we hosted many social events and had average attendance. In the past two years here, we have come so far that now our attendance reaches the hundreds. Our foam dance party this year had 1,200 students. A simple karaoke night had over 200 students. And every time we bring a comedian, a hypnotist, or a magician to campus, we house them in our Shepler Ballroom. We've reached full capacity, having to close the doors and not allow any more students in. With this new ballroom, we won't have to do that anymore. We have grown, and we have learned to put on bigger and better events for students. We were beyond excited to move into this building, not just because it's beautiful, but because we're running out of room to hold all of our students who want to come to events. And we are extremely proud of that. Since these doors opened to students last week, you could not find a more excited group of students anywhere on campus. When the PAC and SGA offices moved into this building, we were overwhelmed. It is so hard to believe that this building is here for us. We have truly fallen in love with it. This building is something to be proud of because it gives us a traditional campus feel and is located centrally in campus. This building and these gardens have transformed not only the look of campus, but the overall Aggie experience. The opportunities and resources that this building will offer us are endless. As a senior graduating in May, I'm very sad to be leaving Cameron at this time of great growth, but I think back to how far that we have come. When I moved on into the Cameron Village Apartments in fall of 2006 as a freshman, there were no Bentley Gardens, there was no waiting list to get in housing, there was no Cetus II, no Shepler Suites, no brand new business building, and definitely no brand new McMahon Centennial Complex. 
But Cameron did have the caring faculty and administration to make this dream come true and to bring us to the place that we are today. In this very spot we stand today, there was nothing more than a parking lot and a field of grass. This is truly amazing. As I walk around my university today, I realize how far we have come, not just as a campus with new buildings and opportunities, but as young adults, as students, and as people. On behalf of the Program Activities Council and Student Activities, I could stand here before you and tell you countless stories of how many students' lives have been changed by their experience here at Cameron. But we can never truly express to you how much this building means to us. For years, we called the Student Activities Building across the street home. And from now on, we will call the McMahon Centennial Complex our home. Thank you.